Hello guys and welcome to Architect Photoshop Action. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, properly install this section and how to properly use it. So first thing I'm going to show you a few examples of the results of this section so uh, you can get results like this. So there are four examples, uh, just not to prolong this tutorial any longer, so we're gonna get straight to the tutorial. So first thing you will need to have is English Photoshop version, so go to Edit, Preferences and Interface, and you will uh, have to check that UI language is set to English in order for action to work. Next thing, go to image mode and check RGB color and A bits channel. After that, go to layers panel here, click on this box and click on panel options and make sure that this one is checked. So, next thing uh, for this action work we need to load the patterns uh, of this action so go here or click S uh, I mean press S on the keyboard and but you can go here uh, left click and hold down and choose pattern stamp tool and I'll go to this box here next to uh, this aligned here that said align and Click on this uh, arrow here and this uh, box here, I mean uh, settings box, and click load patterns. And go to action uh, fo uh, folder here, as you can see, architect, and load up architect action patterns. After that, uh, select brush and make sure that opacity is set to 100 and also the flow and click on this arrow here and again on this box and click load brushes so we can load up the brushes of this action again go to your architect photoshop action folder and load up architect action brushes after that we need to load the actual action so go to window and click on actions uh, the action tab will open and click on this box here and um, sorry, uh, click load actions and again go to action folder and load up architect ATN file so after that is loaded uh, double open it as you can see here and select it another thing uh, you must check before you run actions or brush your image is that your uh, image is loaded like this in the layers uh, in the layers tab uh, with this lock here on the right side and the background written in italic and if you have anything else uh, maybe like this uh, I mean, showed up like normal layer just go to layer new and background from layer and after you have done that um, uh, make a new layer and name it brush like this without caps uh, because if you name it anything else except brush without caps action won't work and now it's time to brush your picture so select mm, any color I will select red and select uh, soft brush and uh, brush brush the brush the building or model or the area where you want this section to uh, appear so I will brush these two um, towers skyscrapers whatever and 
and you can brush the surroundings around it also so you don't have to be that precise but try to um, brush brush it uh, kind of precisely so you can brush these surroundings if you want these um, trees also so after you brushed your picture uh, open up action tab click on this architect uh, action here and press play and wait uh, for action to finish okay now action finished so next thing I will do is show you how to edit it as you can see it creates a very nice um, sketchy look like your picture is sketched like the architect sketch it so you get the point um, first you will need to close down all these uh, uh, layers and folders so to do that quickly just hold down left alt key and click on the on this arrow here and all of the all all the other arrows of main folders here so now i will explain separately every folder so first uh, first folder is main adjustments uh, those are just basic uh, image adjustments and next thing you have a, a background texture let me zoom in so i can show you as you can see it, when i hide it it's it hides the uh, uh, background texture it's the paper texture so if you don't like it you can hide that layer, layer next thing we have pencil lines shadings as you can see when I hide it when I show it it's just the um, just like the pencil and hand draw shadings as you can see when I hide them it creates the sketchy natural and drawn look like when those architects sketch uh, open it up so you have uh, first layer is to color these straight you have straight lines as you can see when I zoom in you have straight lines and you have scribble shading lines uh, these not so perfectly straight lines and you have these straight so first you have a coloring for these um, straight lines so you can color them in any color you want as you can see you can color them in blue and when you zoom out you have a blue sh shadow I and mean shading but this color layer so whenever you want to color them just show I mean click on this box here to show the coloring layer and then you go and color it also for this one too is the same process as you can see um, next color is technical sketch sketch lines so those are as you can see um, it's like the when those architects uh, just go goes up in those lines as you can see um, they kind of sketch it but then they erase it and you know just create that uh, kind of a messy messy sketchy look so you can you have multiple um, multiple layers here you have a basic sketch lines as you can see when I hide it then you have sketch outlines as you can see those are the, the as 
I said messy kind of a, so you can hide and show every turn on and off or hide and show every uh, every layer separately as you can see you can hide this one if you want and also you can transform it and hold down uh, left control plus D and hold down left alt and drag to kind of make it how you want and you can elevate it also as you can see so we're gonna make it like this as you can see it creates a very nice effect um, and also you can do Four layers you can elongate them as you can see um, and you can hide everything if you want or you can uh, select layer mask select maybe this action brush and brush it out select black foreground color and brush it out as you can see but we won't do that now also you can brush out these pencil shadings how you want as you can see or you can just use any of these brushes that you have and brush it out as you can see you can brush out background texture just create layer mask here Um, and the we moving on to the last folder here is background layers you have a architect sketch color color fill in so when I hide it it just leaves the sketch lines and as you can see it just leaves the sketch lines without color and when we turn it on it adds the color so here's the opacity so you see increase the opacity and increase the color or you can just go to 10% or 20% and just to barely see the color or you can completely turn it off uh, next way next thing the next layer we have just let me make it to 60% it looks nice and also you can brush it out by just use uh, the just use the layer mask and brush it out uh, the parts you don't want the color or you can use also the action brush and brush it out like this as you can see it uh, makes the color disappear as you can see switch colors uh, switch colors here with X and I mean switch to white foreground color to make it reappear or, or you can brush any part of the picture so moving on we have a light paint strokes around the around the image as you can see when I turn on and off you can turn it off or brush it out also and we have a background color which we can choose any color we want not just white and also now I'm gonna show you how to uh, do the black and white architect effect You will just uh, go to background color and make it, make it black, make it black, and turn out the color fill in. Go to the um, pencil lines shading and turn on the coloring 
of these shadings and there you have it you you have this black and white um, black and white architect sketching you can just um, make some adjustments to the background color here But um, I'm just gonna leave it back to the um, back to the original results, um, and that's it. That's that's what you can do with this action. Um, go and follow. Follow me on my work on Graphic River. You have a link in the description of my portfolio, so go and follow me there. If you have a Graphic River account or, or an Envato account, subscribe to my YouTube channel here for the future updates and tutorials. Um, download this action. You have a, also a link in the description. Uh, if you if you need this section for your next project, go and download it. Why not? Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope I ma made it clear. So if you experience any errors or issues with this section, please uh, contact me through my through my portfolio, I mean through my profile on Graphic River, you have uh, a message box from the right side of my profile or you, you can just go and contact me directly uh, to my gmail creativefox7 at gmail.com so we can solve your errors and you will help me improve this section if it, if it has any errors but it uh, should not because it's tested and also I forgot to mention that you can you have to use um, higher quality pictures for this section so for example um, over over 2000 pixels so if you if your picture is a little bit smaller just go to image image size and increase the pixels in width and height as you can see my uh, this picture is 6000 uh, 6000 pixels wide and 4200 4, pixels in height so you you can use uh, the pictures from 2,000 pixels to 6,000 pixels, <laughs> as you uh, as you can see in my example. But uh, for example, this, this picture is about 2,000 pixels in width and height, I think, and it works just perfectly. Even better with smaller pictures, maybe. <laughs> It depends on the picture. So that's it, guys. I will just close down this tutorial right now, and I see you in the next one. Peace.